What's going on guys? All right, so today I'm gonna do another video on an overlay. Now an overlay is a piece of vinyl that we put over top afterwards. Putting a piece of vinyl over top afterwards is sometimes necessary, uh, especially when we're using chrome finishes. Now inlays and overlays are used a lot more often on chrome finishes than they are on regular finishes simply because of the, the uh, limitations of the film. We, can't, we don't wanna break the finish. So breaking the finish leads to a, a, a much uh, worse looking installation than an actual seam. Now seams have to be done in a certain way where we're actually hiding the line the best that we can. You can't just put a seam or an inlay or an overlay in the middle of the bumper right here where there's no body line. We have to use the body lines. We utilize the body lines. Now an overlay it, for this bumper right here, let's say I was wrapping it in chrome and I was having issues getting the film into this area right here because it tapers up. As I stretch the film across, if I have to stretch the film up also, then I might end up breaking the finish in this area. So what's better to do? Sometimes it's better to do an overlay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe, the film, wipe this area down. It's a little bit dusty. I'm gonna install a bottom piece and then I'm gonna install a top piece. So this is gonna be our overlay. The reason being is why, I do, why I'm doing the bottom piece first is because I actually want this to face down. I want the, the, the line to face away from the customer's eye. And I want it to face up. So when you're standing here, if I'm, I'm, I'm looking down at the bumper all the time, pretty much on every car, unless your car is like lifted 80 inches or whatever, and you're sitting on like 40 inch wheels. Could be a Jeep. Um, but yes, we want the line to face down. Again, I'm gonna post a link to the description uh, in the description of the tools that I use today, especially the knifeless tape, because this is more, more of what, what I'm using today. Again, all the rest will be there. Uh, and guys, if you don't, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And if you're, uh, if you like what I'm doing here, leave a thumbs up, all right? So I'm gonna take my knifeless tape and we're gonna apply that first, leaving about three to four inches. And I'm gonna follow, three to four inches on the end, and I'm gonna follow this body line, all right? Sometimes, sometimes a body line will just trail off. And I'll explain that in a second what I mean by that. So sometimes a body line will just trail off and it won't, it won't come right up. Let's zoom in. It won't come right up to the top to where the bumper ends and the other panel begins or where the bumper ends at the wheel. Sometimes it might end like right here. What we do is we, we follow the flow of the, of the car. So if the body line is, if we have a body line right here and it runs through but it stops here, we just continue it for the next three or four inches or one or two inches or half an inch or whatever it is. We continue that line if we really need to. Obviously, we wanna to try to avoid doing that but again, sometimes it's unavoidable. So I have some rose gold here. I'm gonna show you with rose gold because that is mainly a film that you would do an overlay with, like it's, it's, it would be chrome. So I'm just gonna grab a big, bigger piece here. The car, oh yeah, the car's on jack stands because the wheels are out for powder coating. There's not too much I can wrap while the car's up like this. I'm, I don't want to move the car too much, obviously with it being on a jack stand, so. Because it has no wheels on it. If it had wheels on it, okay, whatever fell, it's on the wheels. But again, it's not really, I don't want to be playing around too much with the car. And plus it's a million and a half degrees in here this entire week. All right, so. I'm gonna take my vinyl. I'm gonna blast it out more or less. I'm not really far enough forward here, so I'm gonna bring it. We're just gonna pretend I'm wrapping the bumper, right? We're gonna pretend this bumper is wrapped. Right. Okay, so as you can see, if I pull in here, the top here, I get a lot of slack, right? So if I'm doing chrome, the difficult part is right here because if I don't pull across enough, then we really have a lot of slack here and we try and stretch that slack up, it ain't gonna happen because we're gonna end up over stretching the film and we're gonna break the finish. I do have to stretch it a little bit more, so let's do that, but again, there will be greater limitations with a film like this. So I'm just gonna squeeze out some of this air and make it look like it's wrapped. Oh 
Don't get me wrong, so overlays can be used with regular films. It just really depends. Sometimes we use them on a hood, sometimes we use them on a roof that's too large or whatever. Cool. So exactly what I mean right here is that we do not have, we cannot stretch this vinyl up. It's going to, it's going to distort the chrome finish. What I'm going to do is think ahead, right? We're thinking ahead when we're doing stuff like this. I have a lot of experience with chrome, so I know by thinking ahead like this, I'll, I'll try it in one piece actually, I will try it in one piece. but. I always try to do it in one piece. If that doesn't work the first try, then I go ahead and do it the second try. Sometimes, sometimes in rare situations, I won't even try to do it in one piece. I know right away that the, the film won't, won't make it. Cool. So pretend that this whole bumper is wrapped right now. We're gonna focus on this area right here. What I'm gonna do is take like this tape, use the string to cut it. I just pulled the vinyl back, it's fine. For some reason, just, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna come to the end here and follow through. We're gonna get rid of the top piece, all right? The top piece has to go. This top piece is completely garbage. We're gonna put a new piece in there right afterwards. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Get rid of the knife this tape. And we're gonna put a new piece of knife this tape. So push down, make sure everything's nice and tight. Again, I'm gonna lay my knife this tape and line it up with the edge of the chrome, giving us that sixteenth of an overlap. We don't need more than that really, as long as you're not adding tension to the edge the vinyl won't pull off of this edge. Can you use seam tape or something like that? Yes, on gloss finishes you can use seam tape. Seam tape is just a clear tape basically, it's like a laminate. You can just get, you can just get gloss laminate and, do it and use that if you want. Okay. Perfect. So now I'm going to take my other piece of rose gold chrome and I'm going to put that over top. So this allows me to work this section much differently than trying to work the whole bumper all at once. So you can see how I can actually focus on this area and keep that super, super clean. Switch sides just because it's easier. I'm going to lift it so that way we're not stretching into this recess. So I'm going to lift it and lay it in. I stretched across. This helps get the vinyl to contour into that area right off the bat. See like this. So I'm going to just lock it in a little bit and then we're going to lift it and lay it in the rest of the way. When Seams and inlays are done correctly. They're not ugly. Okay, when they're done incorrectly, they can be they can be hideous. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the bottom piece. What's left over there? So I'm gonna take my knife of tape again. Break the filament. Run the knife of tape through, and that's it. So let's grab the bottom piece of the film. I'm gonna take that off. And then we're 
going to take off the knifeless tape. I'm going to go over the edge right now. It vanishes, like literally it vanishes. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome stuff when you, do it, when you do it like this. Again, this will vary between uh, different finishes. Not so much the color of chrome because the, the chrome will hide it a little bit better. It depends on the chrome too, actually. Avery's chrome tends to have a gray backing and it's a little bit thicker than Vivid, so it actually shows a seam a little bit more. Uh, Vivid's chrome seams really well. It's actually probably the nicest out of all of them that I've used. Now, I'm gonna zoom in right now. I'm gonna bring you guys in so you can have a look. So the edge is actually facing down. And obviously there's stuff in there. It's not a big deal because I'm not leaving it. So the edge is facing down, but even if we come down, like I, can, I can see it down here slightly. You guys see it? I don't know. You guys can catch that on camera. I can see it slightly right there. Or maybe right there. So, but it's facing down. So as soon as we come up, we don't see it anymore. Even, even coming parallel to it, we don't see it. When we, look, when we look for it, then we see it. Again, as the body line becomes less noticeable, the seam becomes more noticeable. So this is a this is, starts off really hard body line over here, and then the body line tends to tends to become a little bit softer over here. So then again, we start to notice the seam a little bit more. But in the end, I have a perfect mirror finish all the way through the car. And by doing inlays and seams like that, it'll give me it'll give me that perfect looking chrome wrap which will also last a long time. That's the, that's the goal, right? That's the goal. So doing them correctly will, as you can see, will actually hide them very well. Uh, again, this is an overlay, so I'll put this piece over top afterwards. The one I did before is an inlay for the other video. I'll put a link up there in the corner. Again, guys, if you appreciate the uh, video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. I have more videos on the way. Uh, I've got some really creative ideas, and uh, I've got a question, a Q&A coming. A bunch of you uh, have asked some questions to ask. So I'm going to sit down and answer some of those questions for you. Otherwise, again, thank you for watching, guys, and I appreciate it. Take care.